And turning now to more breaking news, this happening on Long Island where a young child was found unresponsive in a backyard swimming pool. We are learning now that the child is in grave condition. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan live in Baldwin Harbor with the latest for us. Jennifer. Maurice Christine, good evening. Neighbors here are praying for the toddler found floating in a backyard swimming pool. The majority of spring and summer injuries and deaths in backyard pools and spas involve young children ages one to three. Family members so overcome, ambulances were summoned to treat them, helping to carry loved ones of the victim back into the home at 777 Imperial Drive. The Baldwin Harbor community rattled. I work with kids this age. This hits me hard hearing that it's a young kid, and all I can say is prayers to the family. All afternoon, relatives arrived at the child's home, these cousins asking for prayers. I just got a phone call. He told me to drop everything, come to him, and just here. To support, that's it. How old is the child? I think it's three. The police alert went out. Child cardiac arrest found in pool. CPR in progress. Police call these tragedies preventable with fencing, gates, alarms, and supervision. I have a pool myself, and my pool is closed right now. It's still closed, so I would not understand why the pool would be open so early. If that's the case, that's devastating. Police say Memorial Day is usually the time backyard pools open to allow time for safety checks as families gather. Especially after COVID, you know, this is very, this is tragic. It's terrible. And, you know, families are looking to get together and then this happens. As this family and community mourn and support each other, we are reminded that May is National Water Safety Awareness Month, a time to educate everyone on best practices for keeping our backyards safe this summer. Reporting live, Baldwin Harbor, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News, Maurice Christine, to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you.